Hey, what's up? This is Chosen, and this is going to be a community update for January 14th, 2020. A lot to cover. Uh, a pretty crazy day because we are getting official word that unkillable comps are going to be very tuned back into a uh, line with other compositions which really changes the end game clan boss and some certain things that are going on so i'll dive into that i will dive into the the special month-long gem offer coming back that is amazing i'll go over that and kind of price it out for you guys and show you how that works in game and then i'll also talk about the dragon tournament and something interesting i have noticed in my dragon 20 loot analytics we'll also cover maybe the shop and some other random stuff going on in the game and have a good discussion so yeah let's get into it alrighty the first thing that I want to cover is the month-long gem offer it is an amazing offer and if you do spend money on raid this is one of the best things that you can buy for the you know purchasing power the raw value of your dollar so if we go to the shop and we go to where is it at actually it's under daily and progression and uh, you'll see it up here in the top left the daily gem pack for 9.99 we get 2140 gems dispersed kind of a little bit evenly throughout the the month slowly ramping up to 200 at the end and then they give you the nice boost of 250 on day one now uh, let me pull up the calculator here and this is how it grades out we got 2140 gems which uh comes out to a 5.36 on the offer score being worth about 29 dollars in gems but remember it's worth noting you don't get them instantly so we do have to you know deduct a, a little bit of the value here so it's probably worth 20 dollars or so given the fact that you have to wait for them uh so so with it being 10 it is an amazing offer and if you do have if you do spend money on raid this is probably 10 of the best dollars you're ever going to spend so i will be scooping this up right now and it popped up over here in my other monitor we click pay and go and there's 250 and then each day when it resets you will go ahead and you can see the daily reset occurs in 51 minutes i'll be able to get the uh the day two rewards here so it resets the same time as like your quests and everything like that okay um well before i dive into the unkillable stuff let's go over everything else in game so currently we've got a dragon tournament going on and uh you know the, it's a pretty normal structure that we're used to in the in the tournaments it's 2500 points to get up here to an epic book i think it was 2500 anyway i've already claimed mine uh and and the rewards is they're again they're going back to a four piece relentless set i hate that if you're gonna make it four pieces make it six star legendary uh and then make you know six star epic and 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 scale down give the top three or four some relentless gear uh you know it's a it's a group of 50 give some incentive for people to get in there and, and grind the dragon I, I really despise that it's not a full set I, I really don't like when they do four instead of six but uh anyway that's my gripe about this event if we pull up the global leaderboard we're seeing that they're starting to give out champion as uh champions as reward to the uh, global leaderboard and we're actually getting tayrell as the reward now tayrell is a very good epic in terms of general usefulness like if you're a new player and you summon tayrell that is an epic pull for you he can be used basically anywhere in the game slots into a decreased uh attack roll uh it can do many different things perform very well help you in your minotaur grind and be usable really everywhere so uh the only thing is for like end game players the type of players that are grinding dragon 20 i don't think this is going to be a super good reward uh i could be wrong maybe there's some end game player out there who would who just has no luck can't get tayrell and they really need him or something but i don't think it's going to be near the whale war as like a valkyrie or a bad alcazar or or a hegemon or something like that uh most of your whales are going to already have tayrell and the ones that don't are probably functioning just fine without him and he they have gotten to the point where tayrell rel wouldn't really be some epic game changer for them but uh if you're curious this 25,000 points probably uh this person spent about 22 to 23,000 energy to, to get to this point so uh we still got four days left this could easily scoot up to you know 80 or 90,000 probably on, on the points if they if they keep going as hard as they are currently so uh yeah that's kind of the scoop on the dragon event and let's go over the uh the other offers in the shop is there anything worth going over uh, the special skills pack this is kind of a standard offer that comes through a lot it's it's okay it's not amazing i'm, I'm kind of neutral on it if you need the legendary books and the epic books it's not the worst money you're ever going to spend but it is pricey so i i it's hard for me to recommend it i'm pretty neutral on this one um this one here let's go ahead and plug this one i don't really know this one super well 
Uh, let's go $24.99. And let's put this down to 800 Silver, 800 Energy, 500 Two days of XP. And 40 Brews. Uh, yeah, this grades out as a 1.29. I don't know why it's not showing up as red there. I'll have to fix that. Um, my offer sheet got a little bit messed up there. But yeah, it grades out as red, and it's just not a, a good offer. So one that I'm not going to recommend there. Conqueror pack is still 15, so we're just going to keep moving right along and slide over that. The uh, Divine Critical Rate Artifact Set. Uh, so six pieces of six-star epic for $34.99. Um, the Divine Crit Rate set's an okay set, it's not amazing, but it, but it's definitely usable on, on many different champions that require crit rate uh, for your DPSers, and then there's also abilities like Allures, A1 with turn meter reduction, there's lots of things that require crit rate to proc the effect, so it's a pretty good set, that's too pricey, uh, this thing should be like $23 or $24 in my opinion, to think it would be a, a decent gamble, even at that it'd be tough for me to recommend it, so at $35 it's, it's pretty much a hard pass for me. Okay. Now, let's get into uh, probably the reason you're here and the big discussion of the day. It's going to be unkillable comps being changed. That is a big, big deal in the raid community. It's been a long time coming. I, I have never really invested in building an unkillable comp because I always kind of knew in the back of my head this day would come when they rebalance it, nerf it, rework it, whatever you want to call it. And... Uh, I'll try to remember to link to this post down in the video description. Uh, it's from Marius, who is a community manager for Raid Shadow Legends, and basically posting, I won't read it, you can see it on the screen if you want to read through it, and I'll try to remember to link to it, but it basically says, uh, as 1.13 draws closer, one of the things that they're going to be focusing on getting done is rebalancing the unkillable, you know, block damage comps that are dominating the end game of Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. And uh, what they're going to be doing is after 50 turns, the Clan Boss is going to ignore these effects. And by that point, at 50 turns in, the Clan Boss is hitting so hard, he's basically going to one shot your whole team, or at least you're going to be taking so much damage, you're not going to be able to live much longer typically. Okay, so uh, the community seems to be kind of negative on this, and um, I think that's because it's kind of like you have something you've been doing for a while, and then it gets ripped from you, and you feel like, I, I've, I've spent so much money to summon these champions, I've spent so much time to develop and fine-tune this comp, and now you're, uh, you're making it much worse. Obviously, people are going to have a negative reaction to that. Um, but I think, in terms of the general health of the game, it's probably something that they wish would have been done from the start. They probably didn't think these kind of comps would come up, and that's probably their fault in uh, in not being diligent enough with their beta testing and game testing. It's something they probably should have noticed sooner. It's obviously something that should have been addressed sooner, in my opinion, which is why I've never done it, because I thought this day would come a lot sooner than it has. But uh, yeah, so if you're not familiar with the end game kind of clan boss meta, what a lot of these super high tier clans will do is they will clan hop. They'll have a, a, a big old network and they'll clan hop, they'll kill the clan boss 10 times a day, get 20 ultra nightmare max chests, they'll just, you know, do these 30 or 40 minute clan boss fights, do them over and over and over, you just, you pop it in, you leave, the, you leave, go do something else, you come back, you get all these chests, these void shards, sacred shards, uh, you know, skill books, you get all sorts of rewards every day, and yes, it costs you gems, but it's a pretty efficient way to spend your gems to when you're getting sacred shards and stuff, so, uh, the ability to one key the ultra nightmare boss with these unkillable comps has been pretty crazy so plarium is going to be coming in to keep it in line with other comps and, and try to thwart this uh like clan boss hopping one key ultra nightmare type of system that's going on so that's kind of what's happening and why it's happening and the effect of this is so 50 turns for the clan boss is going to be somewhere between 8 and 10 minutes, depending on how much you manual, how much you set it up, if it's full auto, all that sort of stuff. 50 turns for their clan boss is going to be somewhere in between that 8 and 10 minute mark. So, uh, now I know like my clan boss team on Ultra Nightmare, it's not unkillable. I just pop it in, I go auto, double counter attack with uh, Bad Alcazar as my healer. I, I last about 8, 8 and a half minutes typically. Uh, so, it's going to be pretty standard in that 50 turn mark, at, which I guess is kind of what they're trying to bring it in line to be. Um, now, Ultra um, ultra Nightmare unkillable comps are still going to be like okay. I don't think they'll be complete garbage, um, but they're definitely, it's going to be a rude awakening. They're not going to be as good as they were. I think there's better routes to go about this. I think they could have just added a 24 hour cooldown to uh, clan hopping and that would have fixed that. 
Uh, they they really 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 need to rework the clan boss system and uh, you know stop clans having to fight over clan damage and you know you don't want 30 people in your clan because then you're doing too much damage to the boss it dies too fast not everybody can get their rewards uh this was not the priority in my opinion the priority should have been to address the clan boss system to make it a system that's not as toxic and where clans don't have to fight with each other and there's actually an incentive to have one good clan with 30 good players in it where they don't have to argue over clan boss damage. That should have been the priority, but uh, I, I kind of knew this day was coming, and, and I get why some of the community has kind of a negative sentiment about it, but that is kind of how it breaks down and why. And last but not least, I almost forgot, I mentioned uh, something that has kind of struck me about Dragon 20 loot analysis. If you'll notice on my channel, uh, about a week ago or so, sometime around there, I, I did a video where I analyzed the drop rates of Dragon 20, and it looks something like this. It was uh, a little chart where I where I do all my runs. I show kind of the I have it calculate the average time and uh, hours spent, energy spent, the star distribution, the the rarity distribution, uh, the, the set distribution, the tops versus bottoms, what's more common. And the the interesting thing of note here is tops used to drop a lot more common than bottoms. Uh, it was about 55-45. It was pretty exactly that. From the from the moment that I did 20 runs all the way up to 200 or whatever, it was consistently 55-45. It never changed. Uh, now, within the last few days or so, I'm getting a lot more bottoms. I've gone all the way up from 45 to 49 percent over the last few hundred runs, which means it's much more than 50 percent if it's going to be great, if it's going to be scaling the statistic that direction. Now, I, I already hear what you're saying. Chosen, you didn't have enough sample size. You need thousands of runs to be sure about your stats and you might be true well you actually are true to um or are correct are true i don't know what i'm saying here you are correct uh in order for the statistical analysis to be accurate you would need a much bigger sample size than a couple hundred runs but my rebuttal would be I have seen many other people do this testing, uh, people in my clan, other people in the community, uh, other really, uh, you know, high ranked players and stuff. So I did see probably thousands of runs and it was a pretty general consensus, uh, getting pretty close to the numbers I was getting. And uh, now all of a sudden these other players have been coming to me saying, hey, I'm noticing something has kind of changed within the last week. So I started diving in, charting stuff and I'm noticing it too. So all I can tell you is I'm 95% uh, certain that something changed, whereas they tuned the bottoms to be dropping a little bit more than the tops. I can't be 100% sure. I might be wrong. I'm admitting that. Uh, it is possible that all these things just kind of happen to line up and, 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 and have no correlation, and it was just because of random anomalies due to the sample size not being big enough. That is possible. But it doesn't feel like that. I've done thousands of dragon runs. It just feels different. That's all I can say. I'm 95% sure something changed. And that last 5% is I could be wrong, like I, like I kind of mentioned before. But uh, yeah, that's just something I wanted to kind of talk about that's been going on with my, you know, loot analysis, drop rate stuff uh, within the last couple of days here that I'm noticing is it's shifted from, you know, dropping tops more often to not not only 50 50 but dropping bottoms more often shifted like 10 percent or so uh so just something interesting i've happened to notice but again it could be nothing it could just be random anomalies due to sample size so uh yeah that's gonna kind of do it for this video i just wanted to kind of dive in and talk about everything that's going on and kind of discuss all of that so definitely let me know down in the comments what you think how you feel about the unkillable change i i think it's, it's pretty split. Some people are like, yeah, that's a good change and it should be happening. It'll be good for the game long term. Some people are very upset uh, and, and we're like, I'm finally just working towards this. It's been a goal of mine and now you're kind of making it not near as good. So now I got to go back to what I was doing. So I kind of get both sides of the fence and I want to see where, uh, where all of you kind of come into line. So I'd love to hear what you think. So yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.